Hi, I'm Kurt from Studio 22 and I'm introducing the Fotix close-up lenses today. We're going to be doing a comparison. I'm going to be shooting a little studio setup right here in our reception area and I'm going to be comparing it to the 100mm macro, in this case the Canon. For lighting I'm going to use the Linkstar LHK4U kit. It consists of two umbrellas, both silver. It has two lamp holders, each holding four lamps. It has eight lamps, 28 watts, daylight balanced. They 5,000 to 5,500 degrees Kelvin, so it's a continuous light, as well as two light stands that come with the kit. I've set up my Linkstar lighting kit. I'm now going to be choosing a cube, in this case the Fotix 40 centimeter. I also have the 80 centimeter, which uh, is for items much, much larger. As I'm only photographing a watch face, I'll be using the 40. It's also available in a 60 centimeter cube. The cube comes standard with a white, red, black and blue inner which operates like a little infinity curve. It uh, tapes on the inside of the cube like with Velcro and you can uh, place that inside the cube. It also comes with a cover that uh, encases the entire area in, uh, in clean white light which has an opening for the lens to go through. The Fontex kit is available with four lenses, a uh, plus one, plus two, plus four and a plus ten magnification. I'm going to be using the plus ten because we want to get really close. The advantage of using a close-up filter over an extension tube is you get your full autofocus and aperture settings. I'm shooting a 200 ASA, it's giving me a reading of f32, so I'm using the smallest aperture to give the greatest depth of field. The exposure time therefore becomes a lot slower and it's giving me one sixth of a second. For that reason I'm shooting with the Fotix remote control, the wired remote control, so I avoid any camera shake or movement. In the first exposure I used the 18 to 55 set at 55 for the longest focal length. Uh, using a maximum aperture of 32 I've also put the plus 10 close-up filter on. I've now moved over to the 100mm macro also shooting at f32. There's a slight difference in exposure uh, and of course having a longer focal length I've got to move quite a bit further away. Uh, looking inside the cube I've got an incredibly soft light. Uh, I've created that by adding the Linkstar lights on either side using the silver umbrella so I'm diffusing the light before it hits the tent and of course the outer surface of the cube diffuses the light even further. For more information on this or any of the Fotix or Linkstar products please visit the Studio 22 website on www.studio22.co.za. Thanks for watching.